Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on metric and imperial conversions. Now, just in case you're wondering what's the difference between a metric unit and an imperial unit, um, with metric units, everything comes in powers of 10, so that might be 10, 100, 1,000. So, for example, one kilometre is 1,000 metres, um, one centimetre is 10 millimetres. One litre is a thousand millilitres, so everything is in um, powers of ten, and that makes it a metric unit. Whereas imperial units are kind of more traditional units, um, where the conversions are not quite as neat as that. So, for example, one foot is equal to uh, twelve inches. Now, I should note that you're no longer required, in the GCC syllabus at least, to memorise these particular conversions between metric and imperial. And you certainly don't need to know imperial to imperial, like one foot is 12 inches, for example. But I think these are quite helpful to know in real life, particularly the ones, for example, between kilometres and miles, uh, foot and centimetres, and between kilograms and pounds. Those are the three most useful ones that I use in my everyday life. However, you could get a question where they give you the conversion and then you have to use it to solve a question. So I'm just going to give these to you. Uh, 4.5 litres is roughly one gallon. Uh, one litre is roughly 1.75 pints. Eight kilometres is roughly eight miles. Or another way of saying that is one mile is roughly 1.6 kilometres. Uh, we've got one foot is roughly 30 centimetres and one kilogram is roughly 2.2 pounds. Now let's look at this first question. In a week, I drank six pints of milk. How many litres is that? Well, I always find it helpful to think what we times or divide by to go from one unit to another. So we're going from pints to litres. So we're going from pints to litres. How do you get from 1.75 to 1? Well, you just divide by 1.75. Similarly, if you're going from litres to pints, you can see to get from the 1 to 1.75, you would times by 1.75. So we're going from pints to litres we are dividing by 1.75 to get from that to that. So we've got six points. So we just do the six divided by the 1.75. And that gives you to two decimal places, 3.43 liters. And then the second one, we've got a bit of speed distance time here. Uh, the journey to Bobville is 30 miles. If I cycle at 19.2 kilometers per hour, how long will the journey take? Now, this speed here is in kilometers per hour. We've got kilometers there, but that's in miles. So we need consistent units, don't we, in order to be able to combine them. So I think it's easiest to turn this miles um, into kilometers first. So, if we've got that 8 kilometres is equal to 5 miles, approximately, then if we have 30 miles, can you see that that's 6 times more? 30 is 6 times more than 5, and therefore we've got 6 times as many kilometres. So, 8 times 6 is 48 kilometres. So, we know that we need to travel 48 kilometres to get to Bobsville, and then we need to work out how much time. So it's a speed distance time problem. Let's remember our speed distance time triangle. It looks like this. And we want to work out time. So we can put a line here. Time is equal to distance over speed. So the time is the distance, which is 48 kilometers, divided by the speed, which is 19.2 kilometers per hour. And because that's per hour, the answer is going to be in hours to be consistent with that unit. So let's do that. And we get 2.5 hours. Or if we wanted to give it in hours and minutes, that would be two hours and 0.5 of an hour, half an hour is 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes. And that is it.